Hello, and welcome back to Grinds My Gears. Um, so, while you've been away, I've done some stuff. I've put down mining and trains for this 8 million patch. And I have put down mining and trains and taken away the belts, which used to run up here for this patch. I'm set up now with two unload stations. Each one un unloads four lanes. Uh, and those four lanes go up and get fed into the bus. And I'm running a fairly strict rule where they feed into the smelters in order. Um, you can probably see here, we've got some red, li red lights on these smelters. This iron is lacking. We we're starting to run low on iron. Even this is down here. And um, that's having a serious effect because this is the iron lines for making green circuits. The green circuits are not running at full speed, uh, which means we're not producing green fluid at full speed, which means everything that consumes green, particularly the orange, right, it's running out, basically. Um, so our, our research speed has dropped. We have this little legacy refinery here. Um, I've plumbed that into a little makeshift green, sorry, red circuit build. Um, this is like Spaghettiville, isn't it? Who cares? Um, these red circuits, the aim is to bring them into the making area. Uh, and then the hope is that the red circuits in the make area we can use to make useful stuff. Low volume, useful stuff. Um, I've also done some researches. Um, there we are. Okay, so I'm currently doing personal robot ports. I've unlocked construction bots and robotics. Robotics gives you the frames. Um, right, so we've got um, logistics bots to do next if we want them. Uh, and then uh, this is the logistics system. We can't do that until we have um, gold potions and gold is the one that we need that's the wrong one let's go okay uh, we can't unlock we can't do gold until we've got blue circuits okay that means putting in a blue circuit build which means at least one more green build probably a new red build um, we need a second red belt build anyway because um, where are we? Yeah, this red build is not enough to supply both of these fluids machines. It can supply one of them in a bit, but it's 10 red circuit machines short to supply the second one. So we need a second red circuit build, um, which I will probably stack underneath this one if I can. Anyway, that would give us more reds. Uh, it would give us enough reds to supply this and some overflow. So then the overflow we can do things with um, like blue circuits. Okay. Uh, however, all of this will require more ore, which requires more train stations, which requires us to build some things. And um, what I would like to do is set up a little machine to build rover ports. So I need to figure out what we need for that. Okay, and I don't seem to have any of these in my pocket. Let's throw that down. So if we want to make rover ports, we need red circuits, gears, and steel. I'm looking for somewhere that has gears and steel. That's probably the top row. Yeah, this is gears and steel. Okay, oh, let's grab these 10 boilers. Um, where are we? Um, Right, where are they gone? I picked them up, didn't I? Oh, there they go. All right. Um, so I've set this up with a wire condition. Uh, I'm making 160 steam engines. 
Um, I'm, I have already made um, 80, yeah, 80 boilers. Um, the reason is we're going to be bringing in more and more lines of stuff in here. Okay, so at the moment we've got two, two coppers. The next one I'm going to bring in is going to need to be iron. And we need this space, which is taken up by this. So I need to relocate this power system. When I relocate it, I may as well double it. Um, I am going to relocate the whole thing over here somewhere. Um, where is the really big... Ah, here we are. We have a 9 million and a 4 million coal. So I can set up um, the, the stacks up here. There's some cliffs that need moving out of the way. That's not a problem. Um, so then we'll have our power out here. Now, the nice thing about that is the whole of this area here is um, an isolated plateau. The whole of this is isolated. It's only when we come down to here and here that it joins onto larger land masses. So if I put my power production up here, this will be pollution and it will spread out here, but it'll spread out to, to biters that can't get at us. Um, so that's the plan really. Um, so that will get done when this is built. So in the meantime, we need to build our rubber forts. Okay. So let's continue this along. There we are. So we'll need a, an inserter for steel a long inserter for gears. Uh, this is one of these ones where we're producing a trickle. Um, I don't really care about the rate of production. Um, I just care that it is produced. Let's move this out of the way. All right, put back lots of those. There we are. Um, so this also needs to bring in red circuits and then we will put things out to a box when I figured out where the box is going. Okay, so where are my red circuits coming in? And you can't move that with the arrows, which is a little annoying. Okay, where do I want... For now, let's just bring it in here. Oh, I made a big chunk of barrels because I wasn't sure if I would be using barrels for um, moving fluids around. I think at the moment I'm going to use fluid wagons, but I may change my mind later. So there they are. All right, and this needs to put out to somewhere. Okay. Cap at 20 of those. Now, to make these boxes, I need red and green. To make these, I need red and green, and I need steel boxes. So where am I currently making steel boxes? Here. Oh, that's really good. Okay. So um, do I have a green line that I can merge in here? Well. I could make a gap in this, or we could carry on making out here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so this is going to be steel boxes. We will put left and right, pole, pole. We will pull in green circuits. Green circuits, steel. Uh, 
Okay, that's pretty good. Then um, this will go out to a box, out to a box. Um, there we go. So this is storage chests. This is provider chests. And this is going to be attached to the logistics network. It's going to be enabled when the provider chests are less than 100. OK. Let's set this to those chests. Awesome. All right, so this is not going to work yet because it has no reds. Ah, OK. Um, Move that down, move that down. Can I hot replace this with a... No, I can't. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that one's done. Cool. Okay, so in principle, that should do the job. Um, we need to start putting down a robo network. And I kind of want to cover the making things area with some bots because we're going to start putting down logistics chests. Um, right, so the next one would go somewhere around here. Right, we want something. Put down. Okay. Right, and then we want something around here. There we go. So that covers all our chests, I think. Great. Okay. At the moment, all the reds are going into making these. Let's go back to one stack. Put these all back. OK. Now, what I would like to do is get the construction area up to cover this, put down some provider chests onto all the things in the maker, and then we can start getting the factory to build itself rather than building it by, by hand. The other thing we need to do is set up a production facility for bots. Um, what else? All right, there's a nice big chunk of uranium here. Um, let's, yeah. Uh, we need to label this, that's 17 million. We've got a tiny uranium there, one million here. 1.7, half a million there. Um, we could go for nuclear power. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother. <clears throat> At the moment, we'll stay, scale up with some uh, burners. OK, so let's grab some things. I'd like some rail. Okay, let's see if we can get the next train station down. Um, I'm in two minds about whether to install the uh, nuclear bots mod. I quite like the idea of this map having using nuclear bots for everything. Um, I'm tempted to use 
nuclear logi box for making things areas. Um, <clears throat> since this is a, a for fun playthrough rather than a sort of achievement -y type map, I thought it might be fun to see if we can do everything with nuclear bots. But for now, um, don't think I even installed the mod, did I? No, I didn't. So uh, yeah, I'll consider installing that mod to this playthrough. <clears throat> but it would give us a reason to get nuclear, uh, since you need a nuclear fuel cell to put into each of your bots. Okay, so this station is up now, give or take. Quite like this design, they, they pack reasonably close together. They're, they're six tiles plus the two rail apart, so eight in total. I quite like that. I think it's picker extended, which is adding those new do noises. Okay. So this, yeah, I don't want to copy this name. So this is copper in. So let's rename this to iron in. And then I'm not sure how I'm going to route these across. We've got this patch of coal here that I really want to get rid of. Um, which we're not doing too badly. We have two left which aren't doing anything. Um, that will at least even up which ones aren't doing anything. This is coal in the way of station, which apparently is 17 hours away from being consumed, which seems ridiculous to me. Um, I'm considering putting speed mods down and finding some way to consume more, but uh, I don't have a really good plan for that, to be honest. Okay, it's being prioritized into all the smelters. Okay, let's jump into there. Um, right, mostly full of ammo. We can grab some rails, put that in. What else do I need? I'm thinking of setting up some mining. So two mines. The The iron patch here is, is starting to run out in places, and that's what is uh, failing to feed the smelters. Here we are. Picking up the dead miners. That's it. Um, so I need to put down some extra lines for that. Now I have, I think I have some iron lines that dead end. Do I? Yep, yeah, here. So that's probably enough actually to get this all going again. Um, belt brush. except I really didn't want to pull these all the way across the base. Where, where would I need to pull them to? Okay, so I would need to fill some of these. And it all feels a bit congested and icky, whereas I'd rather be bringing in lines this way um, and pushing them in. So the first train would service one, two, three, four and that would be the first four lines. Then we could re-task all of these to the further up ones. 
Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring a, a train of iron in now. Which iron patch that I do? I think I should do one of the ones we already have hooked up. Okay, so this... This is not fully used. Let's go all the way up. Oh, we don't have radar coverage. Okay, let's fix that. Do I have any radars? Yeah, I've got five. That's fine. All right, let's go up. Okay, so this 12 million patch up here is underutilized. So we can uh, improve things by dumping this into a train and then uh, pushing it onto the bus directly, I think. Um, yeah, there's hardly anything going on here, is there? So we need radar coverage. That's the first thing. Where's a good place for that? There, I think. We can pick up a dead one there, although that may, may be academic because we'll be rerouting all these. And what's the best way to bring the rail over? Okay, so I have rail here. I could come across, up, across, in which case that would give us access to this and this. Or we could T junction off here, go through the water. Um, There's this little patch of iron here which I want to get rid of, so that might be the first bit. Okay, let's fly over to that little bit that I want rid of. In the meantime, since this... Yeah, since this is basically unused, It's a balancing issue, really, rather than a, an amount of stuff issue. We've got more than enough material to keep all the smelters going. It's just if some smelters don't go, there isn't enough throughput on the bus to draw the others. So maybe I should be concentrating on being a bit more sensible about how I use my, um, my belts. OK. And then we'll do the. We'll do the fancy stuff with trains later. Okay, so the first thing is this can come out. This can come out. Okay, then these two can be combined. Let's combine them here. Then where are these dead? Here. Okay. And how many extra lines of iron do I need? So one, two, three. I need three more lines of iron. So let's bring three of these along.
Right, let's stop there. If I bring these down, they'll get into this area here where I can't do anything. Um, what I really want to do is bring them across and then merge them in over here. So I've got one, two, three lines here. I think those are, yeah, we can figure something out from there, I think. Okay, so. Actually, it would be there, wouldn't it? I'm trying to think of the Okay, that's the most correct place to do it. I'm very soon going to have an or problem. There we go. Yep, or problem. And yellow belt problem. Okay, let's run over. Do I have anything useful in my plane? No, but I can dump the ore in there. Okay, and then we can deal with it later. Let's get the belt brush up. Okay, so get rid of the excess ore. grab some yellow belt okay let's put all of that in the plane okay that'll do for now oh personal rover ports finished brilliant so we can now start putting rover ports both in me and in my planes, which I am looking forward to. Um, okay, what should we do next? Uh, I don't really want to do mining productivity yet because I'm still trying to get rid of stuff. Rogue cargo size, that's a good one. Okay. Whoops. find this a bit, yeah, a bit hit and miss sometimes. Okay, I seem to be in trees.
still have a problem there. Okay. Okay, let's think carefully. Um, if I fill these two lines so that they are fully loaded, then we will have fully loaded lines going into this and this smelter. That solves two of our problems. Okay, so let's do that. Um, so how do I get into this? Okay, let's do it the old-fashioned way. So, um, let's design it first. So if we had a, a line here, um, I'm bringing this down, one out. I want to split so that one of these is going on there. And then the other's going there. So that's what I want to graft into here. Um, That's as small as this can be made. It looks like though we're sort of hopping over to hop back again, which is daft. So what would this look like the other side? We'd come in and dump onto the belt. Then we would go, I'm out of undergrounds. We would then go under and up like that. Okay, so I want to backfill this. Let's blueprint this. Okay, so I want to do that there. May as well do it with the bottom line. And I need lots more undergrounds. Let's pull that up. We will go and get another hundred undergrounds. Um, I have a stack of stone furnaces and some wood, neither of which I need. All right, wood is easy. There we are. Undergrounds. Okay, so where was I? I want to put this there. No, I want to put this there. Okay, so then I need to skip those two, those two. Get the blueprint back. Two. 
those two. Okay, that can go. That can go. Blueprint down. Okay. And get rid of that. Okay, then we need to do essentially the same thing to this line. Um, right, we can do it one higher. This is redundant. Yeah, so this could go there. And let's just bear in mind, all right, so we are, that. I think, yeah, that's it. to get rid of this somehow. Okay. So that could actually have been one lower. There we are. Okay, so this no longer ne is needed. That's backfilling both those lines, which gives us one left over iron line. Okay, let's see what that's done. Okay, so this is all full. This all seems a little petty because the whole lot here is going to be ripped up at some point. But there you go. How are we doing? Okay, so this is now backed up. We are now pushing a full line down here. Good. And when this reaches, are we there yet? Great, we're now pushing a full line down there. And a bit of overflow onto here. This is fine. So it's this or this. This is the next line that we need to fill. Okay, so this line can come out. It's not adding anything. And this line needs to be filled. All right. Moving at the speed of asthmatic hair dryers. Okay, so this is the line we need to complete. Okay, and the easiest way to do that
we go. There we are. That's our iron situation fixed for now. Okay. So this is a full line. Yeah, that will fill all this up. So then the this is the ah, this is not full. So this line here, where do I I need to put it into this? Okay, All right. So I did the wrong one. I very carefully fixed the wrong problem and pulled up the belt for it. Um, okay, so Okay, we now have a full line here. We have a backed up line here. We now have a full line here. Yep. This is all full. Wonderful. We now have another, we now have fully compressed lines. Okay, so. Um, Let's go on down here and see how we're doing with robot related stuff. Great. Okay. So we have some storage chests. This is meant to be limited. Oh, because they're not in chests, are they? So they're not in the network. Okay, that was nearly very bad. Um, okay, so let's start slapping all these down. Come on. Okay. So where's this mess I've made? These are all red. I started putting them down here. Carry on going. I've dumped some wooden boxes on the floor by accident. Okay, so I came around this way. Oh, there we are. all done. May as well put these in. I'll oh, put these in as storage rather than as providers, I think. Okay, um, I really don't need all of these. Hang on, if I put wood on there, where's that? Okay, that's not great. I'm gonna end up with wood in my plastic production. Nobody needs that. All right, 
Well, maybe I should just put them in there. Yeah, maybe I should just have put them in the box of things. Since we now have storage, we can now provide them as storage. I right, don't need that or that, 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 mm, um, that, that. Okay, fine for now. Let's grab another few of these. Ah, that's not in logistics. Well, we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, I'm just slapping red boxes on everything at the moment. Including, all right, let's get storage. There we go, that's definitely storage. Um, we can grab another couple of these. They're really expensive at the moment, so I'm gonna use them sparingly. Um, we could, oh, it's not covered because this isn't powered. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. And any moment now, there we are. Awesome. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so the next things I need to build is a um, little pipeline for making bots. Um, worker robot cargo size seems to have stalled. Okay, what's the hold up? these potions. These labs are not all working, so we can just do it. So if we add production mods to them, it slows them down, but it doesn't actually prevent, slow down our research rate. So let's grab some of these. Okay. Cool, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so as we're kind of throttled on those pinky cyan, what are they, I don't know what's the name of that color. Anyway, those sort of pinky ones, they're the problem. Um, let's just double check why I've got a feeling I know, but let's check. Okay, these seem to be, why is that out? Not enough fluid. Not enough fluid because there's not enough basic science, which is the blue one. Okay. There's not enough of the blue one because there's not enough of the orange one. There's not enough of the orange one because okay, because this doesn't have enough green fluid and the green fluid we've been having trouble with fast inserters and the fast inserters are slow because green circuits okay and the green circuits are a problem um, because we're not making a fully compressed line and we haven't been making a fully compressed line because we haven't been bringing in a full line of iron we are now bringing in a full line of iron so that should fix this problem Ah, the other thing is we are technically under the greens. Let me 
me jump out. Okay, so. Let's do that. This is, yeah. Okay, so now this is backed up for green circuits. And is this actually running? Can't get the green circuits in. We've got two stack inserters already. So there's nothing much more I can do about that at the moment other than increase the stack inserter bonus. Um, right, let's have a look. If I wanted to do that, that's 250. And I'm currently doing 200 and that's crawling along. So um, yeah. So the next thing to do is a stack inserted bonus. But the next thing I need to build is another red circuit build. And um, that needs more smelters, more iron, more copper. So I think I'm gonna leave that until next time. Okay. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, that was a bit of a, a bitty episode of doing all sorts of random stuff. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I will see you again soon. Until then, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and see you later.